I don't know if you heard, there's a Godzilla King Kong movie coming out, and it's coming out wow. this week, Godzilla X Kong. This time, they're aiming and got their sights on the World Tag Team Championships. Mm. They're going to be the new Heart Foundation, the new Killer Bees, the new, what did... Uh, the Natural Disasters. The man. Natural Disasters. The Legion of Doom. The new Rougeos. Who are, you're, who, go, you're going, I'm going way deep lower cuts. than... I'm going you're deep, go, deep You're cuts. going in reverse. <laughs> we started at the top. You're going lower and the lower and lower. The new Barry Windham Microtundo. The new Killer Bees. <laughs> I already said Killer Bees. Oh, you did? I did. He doesn't Aww. listen. B, Brian Blair, jumping Jim Brunzel. That's these two right behind me. That's what they're going for. If they come out, man, it's a missed opportunity that in the final fight of the movie, they don't come out in wrestling trunks. I'm going to be very disappointed. Anyway, the movie comes out this week. I think you're going to be disappointed. That. <laughs> That's going to take I a civilization I'm up to sew those together. <laughs> so, I listen, I am not expecting Shakespeare here. I am not expecting a top 10 greatest movie of the year, but, but hopefully it'll deliver what the last one did for me, which was fun. It's, it, give me some fun. You give me some fun, I'll be good. Now, listen, the first reactions have now come out. <laughs> they came out last night, and they're exactly what I expected and exactly what I hoped for. The general theme we're going to read here in a lot of these reactions coming out of theater is kind of light on story. <laughs> right. Not, not the best narrative, if you will, but a lot of giant monster action, which I think is what a lot of people are looking for. Anyway, let's read through some of these. These come to us from The Hollywood Reporter. Michael Lee writes, Godzilla X Kong is a noisy titan brawl with hardly any human heart to engage us on an emotional level. But audiences coming for the fights alone are getting a supremely awesome tag team match between Godzilla and Kong versus Scar King and Shimo? Hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. Uh, King, by the way, there's an Asian international trailer that just dropped last night for Godzilla X Kong that shows us for the first time, our first really good look at Shimo and Mothra. And it shows like the four of them flying at each other, getting ready to fight. It looks pretty good. If you want to look that up. All right. Next we got Aaron who wrote Godzilla X Kong hits plenty of sweet spots for me. Tons of wild kaiju action, a brutal villain for Kong, a powered up Godzilla, Dan Stevens having a blast, some legit surprises, and so many colors. Bring me more MonsterVerse. Yes. Uh, we also got Ian Sandwell who writes, Godzilla x Kong The New Empire is the most enjoyable MonsterVerse movie yet. Uh, the one where it feels everybody understood the assignment. Story is a bit thin, but the Titan smashing more than makes up for it. Hashtag Godzilla x Kong. Uh, we move on to Andrew J. Salazar, who writes, Godzilla x Kong, the new empire rules. Director Adam Wingard fully embraces the tone of the fantasy rock opera, complete with a synth-heavy score, heavy metal visuals, and killer 80s needle drops. Incredibly silly and heartfelt at times, it's a sincere love letter to the Showa era. Next up, we got Beans, who writes, Godzilla x Kong is nonstop, full kaiju action that fans of monster movies love. Both Godzilla and Kong take center stage in this latest entry in Legendary's Evolving Monsterverse. Brian Tyree Henry and Dan Stevens are fun together. I heard that a lot, that the two of them have really good chemistry together on screen. But this movie belongs to the giant monsters. Yeah. Heroes Unbound says Godzilla x Kong is an absurdly fun ride, a teeming of titans with tremendous scale and a fast-paced adventure. The movie knows to deliver pure fun on a huge scale. My advice, just strap in and enjoy the ride. So, and, and this basically goes on. A lot of platitudes about, this isn't winning any Oscars, but it's a, it's a theme park ride. It's a lot of fun. Look, one of the big criticisms, if not the biggest criticism, of the first MonsterVerse movie with Godzilla that came out, I uh, think, 2014, 2015, yeah. the one with Brian Cranston was, hey, it's a movie called Godzilla with hardly any Godzilla. And ooh, the monsters are about to fight and cut away to an apartment in uh, New Jersey. You know, <laughs> it sounds like they have learned the lesson of that. And it sounds like Adam Wingard was like, you want to see giant titans beating the crap out of each other? Strap in. That's what we're going to do. So, you know, I got invited to a press screening tonight to go see just a little bit early. But I, I don't accept press screening invites anymore, so I'm not going. But we're going to go see it on Thursday. Yep. We got our tickets on Thursday. Too bad it's not 4DX, baby. <laughs> no, but we got uh, we got the Prime, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. We got the, uh, the AMC Prime, which is great. So seeing that or in IMAX would be great. Oh, nice. Uh, but listen, this is exactly 
where I thought it would be, what I thought the reactions were going to be, were going to be was story is light, action's good. But where it exceeds my expectations is it sounds like people had a lot more fun with the action than I was anticipating. And Ray, I, I know out of everybody in this room, <laughs> if we had to pick the person who's most excited about Godzilla X Kong, it would be you. How are you feeling about the reactions? Were the reactions like hit, hit it where I wanted it to be, like exactly the way I want it is uh, they're describing. I mean, it's a popcorn flick. I, 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 I think all of these should be pop popcorn flicks. I think with my minus one coming out with that human story it gave us. I think a lot of people may have expected maybe it going on the same rails as that. Right. But no, this is always supposed to be a fun popcorn flick movie, for, you know, that we enjoy talk about for the rest of the week and then move on to the next thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's probably not what we're going to be talking about for the next no, few no, years. No, no, no. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big thing for like the week that it comes out and then we're going to move on and can't wait to see the next one. But yeah, th this last trailer that you showed me, I, I, I don't know what message this movie has. <laughs> we were talking about all the movies have messages. All I know is I cannot wait to see this destruction. I cannot wait to see them team up. This is like maybe one of my top movies this year I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. About, and by the way, I don't think this, even from the sounds of the first reactions, it sounds like a movie that not all the critics are going to totally dig. So I'm expecting maybe... A 65% yeah, Rotten Tomatoes rate. Yeah, I feel rate. like it's 60. Well, I guess it's just reading from the reactions that we're getting here. But here's an interesting note. And I kind of alluded to this the other day. With all these positive reactions coming out, Godzilla X Kong is releasing in March. If it comes out where it's projected 45 to 55 million opening weekend, which if the word of mouth is good, maybe it might even be bigger than that. But if it does get 45 to 55 million, Chris, it will be the fourth film this month to open to over 45 million dollars damn dune did it kung fu panda did it uh, uh uh ghostbusters frozen empire just did it and now if godzilla x con can do it it'll be four movies in the month that opened over 45 million dollars which would be great guys we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved to feel them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40% and if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA to treat yourself. Anyway, that's Chris. Exciting. Where has your expectation level been for Godzilla X Kong? And, and are these reactions where you thought they would be? Are they better than they th you thought they'd be? What are you thinking? I, I love Kaiju. I'm Team Ray on this. I love the Kaiju so much. <laughs> and I think we got, honestly, a little spoiled by Minus One because that's such a great human story yeah. with Godzilla in it. And usually all I need is Kaiju wrecking fools. I see them wrecking shop. <laughs> that's all I need. That's all I need. And sometimes with the other Godzilla movies or things, they spent too much time on the people and I just didn't care. I just didn't care. Mm. Monarch balanced this out well and then Godzilla minus one might balance this out. For this one, hearing that the action is so fun, that it's really great, that you are just enthralled with what's going on, that's all I need from this. Mm -hmm. I just need monsters fighting monsters, maybe monsters teaming up to battle worse monsters. <laughs> I, I, that's all I want. I just want to- There's the shot, by the way. This is the shot from that new trailer where we get our first good look at the other dragon lizard thing that looks significantly, he looks like he's got a good 
200 pounds on Godzilla. It looked like that move that Logan Paul and Ricochet do at each other. (laughs) (laughs) I I was thinking it reminds me of that shot in in the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home where all the heroes and villains are playing. Why did did Lizard's head just cock to the right? (laughs) Also, better news. It's only an hour, 55 minutes. So it's under two hours. We're getting a little bit below two hours, so. Good That's your you. street spot. That's where Ray likes it to be. Yeah. Uh, I listen. I'm not gonna lie to you. I I said before that I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not necessarily excited about <clears> it. <throat> I think I've gone over the the uh, precipice here. I, I think I am now officially excited about watching this on Thursday. Cannot so wait. yeah, I cannot wait. It's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of popcorn coming up. Anyway, guys, <laughs> question is for you. What do you think about the reactions we're reading coming of Godzilla X Kong? Or maybe you were hoping to hear, like, look, okay, good action, great, but give us a great story, too. It does sound like maybe it's a little bit thin on that. Does that turn you off? Or are you just more excited about it because it sounds like they do actually deliver a good heapings of giant monster kaiju action? Whatever you guys feel about this, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.